Hi, I'm Terry Coles. I'm the IELTS correspondent in Portugal, but this week my husband and I are on vacation in Andalusia, Spain. This is the beautiful coastal city of Benalmadina, not far from Malaga. It's a lively city. We stayed in a, a hotel right near this area with the beach, a sea view, and we could hear people out all night long. We always travel with earplugs for just that reason. The beautiful beach on the Mediterranean. Lovely promenade. Great for long walks. Plenty of shops and restaurants and tourists. However, we did not hear much English spoken here. Most of the tourists we saw were Spanish. And on most of these beaches, you can rent the chase loungers or sun loungers, as they're called in this part of the world, and the umbrellas. This was a nice find also in the same town. It's the Colum Colomares Monument. This is a monument to the age of the discoveries basically celebrating that Columbus discovered America, and Columbus is a Spaniard, so they're very proud of him. It was only two euros to get into this place. It had limited hours, so we definitely had to watch to make sure we could catch the opening times, but it was spectacular. I think they, were, they gave us a paper with about 12 different numbers on it that we could go from monument to monument, and it explained what they were including the three Columbus ships were represented here. And they were all open to go into and climb on, as you can see the little kids climbing up and down and in and around all of them. Just spectacular. My husband gets online and finds all these things when we go out exploring. It was not far from the center of town, but we did have our car with us, of course, so kind of on the outskirts and something that could be missed for the average tourist that's just going there for a beach destination. Nearby was this Buddhist stupa of enlightenment. This was free to go into. Just a little temple kind of thing. And it had some pretty green spaces and grounds around it for walking, and this was another area in the same location. Nearby was this Mariposario, a butterfly house. This place was really impressive. We'd been to one butterfly house before in our lives and in a different country, but this one was just spectacular. It took us through the entire life cycle of the butterfly, there was actually a talk by one of the staff that worked there. We actually skipped on the staff and as the crowds went to listen, we had the place all to ourselves for about 10 or 15 minutes. There was even a wallaby in there. I don't know why there's a wallaby in a Spanish butterfly house, but there was, and he was adorable. This place had all kinds of plants and birds to attract the butterflies and we spent quite a lot of time just strolling up and down the little narrow lanes and stopping to carefully watch if there was one of these little critters nearby. It's my husband's arm where one landed on him. And some colorful little birds also live there. And this might look like the outdoors, but it's not. It's all within the butterfly house. Beautiful plants and flowers inside, too.
So that's our little tour around the city of Ben Almeda, Spain. If you'd like more information on Spain, click on the link below for your free report. Thanks for watching.